Hey guys, welcome to my very first Pokemon pre-release party release. I just said that. Pokemon pre-release party recap. Uh, basically, um, I would have had this out last week, but because of the hurricane, my pre-release party got delayed. So now it's not a pre-release party anymore. They're already out by now. And you probably already have your four Pokemon catchers and all your decks and uh, all that stuff. And four Baratics and whatnot. But yeah, uh, this uh, set, uh, the previous part is my very first one I've ever been to, and it was fantastic. It was really fun. Uh, I just love, you know, how you, how it worked and everything about it. It was really awesome. And uh, if you don't know how a pre-release party works, is uh, basically uh, you get uh, you get they give you six packs, and it costs twenty-five dollars to get in, so it's a pretty good deal. And not so much if you're uh, if the packs there are um, four dollars like they they are, but if they're five dollars, that's an even better deal. So they give you five, they give you six packs for twenty-five dollars, and then you you out of those six packs, you have to make a forty-card deck out of those packs. And uh, that's my deck right there. And they also give you as many energy as you want to uh, put in your deck. Obviously, you don't get to keep the energy, but you do get energy to work in your deck. And yeah, uh, that's basically it. And then after you play, or, you know, in, with that deck, you play four rounds with a bunch of people. Uh, you play random people. I played four people. And uh, just whoever. You just play for fun. There's no reward for winning. And then after you win, you get two extra, or after you play, you get two extra packs um, after you play all four rounds. I think it for uh, adults, it's three rounds. And you also get this uh, deck box, which is pretty cool. I'm using that to hold my deck right now. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Let's just play Pokemon on it. But yeah, uh, I guess I should show you uh, things that you get. Of course, first you get the uh, deck box. Uh, of course, it's a very nice deck box. It has uh, whatever his name is uh, standing in front of that array of light. Uh, looks pretty cool. It has play Pokemon and all the little hexagon things. Top Pokemon trading card game merging powers. That was the set, by the way. Uh, Daru Makian, or whatever the heck he's called. Uh, Braviary. Property of no one. It's property of no one. This is I stole this one. No, I'm kidding. And then there's Tornadus on the back. That's the deck box. Uh, it's kind of you have to actually make it yourself, and it's kind of difficult. It kinda, like you put you put this half up, then you put this half behind it, and then you put both halves behind them, and then you put the tabs uh, through it like this backwards, and then this is the lid. Uh, as you can see here, I'm holding uh, my deck in it. This is this is just a random deck that I've been making. Uh, I'll talk about that once it's finished. But right now, it's using a lot of proxies, so it'd be kind of weird to talk about it. Like, okay, this Pokemon does this, just take my word for it. And this, this is the strategy, because it, apparently this works like this, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So yeah, that's the deck box. Um, you also get one card automatically. Everyone gets a Gigalith. You cannot use this in the battles, but you get it anyway. Pokemon Black and White Emerging Powers. It's uh, one of those uh, Lying Hollows. Uh, and it has Share, or Sheer... Yeah, Sheer, I think. For one fighting energy, just cards the top five cards of your deck. If any of those cards are fighting energy, attach them to this Pokemon. That could go well with Recycle. Uh, and Rock Bullet does 20 damage plus, or does 40 damage plus 10 more, or 20 more for each fighting energy test. So it's kind of like uh, Slowbro or Caesar Prime. So yeah, you automatically get that. And then, uh, I guess I'll show you the deck I made. Uh, First, it has one Braviary in it. Uh, that's the Braviary stats, if you want to read it. Pretty good Pokemon. It didn't actually do me very good. It, I only used it a couple times. But it is a good Pokemon. It's not that I did, it's not that it was bad, it's just I used the other ones more. Two Ruffets. Actually, I got both Ruffets. Pretty cool. Uh, two Whimsicots. Uh, helping Hand. Search your, search your deck for basic energy card and attach it to one of your bench Pokemon. Pretty good. And Cotton Guard, for one Grass Energy, 30 damage. Uh, during your next turn, or during your opponent's next turn, all damage is reduced by 30. So this is very good, especially for um, one energy. It does 30 damage, and you get 30 defense. Very powerful Pokemon. The downside, it only has 80 HP, but that can be worked around with, especially since it has so much defense. And it has a resistance to water. 
So I had two of those, two Whimsicots. I had two Cottonese. Hit stats. Um, I had two Clangs, uh, Metal Sound, Fen Pokemon, Zuck and Fuse, and Guard Press. Um, if we're three energy, two steel, and one colorless, uh, next turn your damage is reduced by 20 and it does 60 damage, so it's like, uh, it's like Whimsicott, but a little less powerful. It's pretty useful. Uh, but I didn't use it too much, and ironically, I got both of these in the same pack, which is pretty cool. Uh, this one's Reverse Hollow. So, Clang, Clang is that okay Pokemon? I didn't get any Cling Clangs. That's probably why it's not so good, because it's like, supposed to evolve into something else. But I did see a Cling Clang that someone got, and uh, it seemed pretty good. So, yeah, two of those. Uh, three Clings. That's Cling stats. Or attacks. Uh, one Lilligant. This is actually probably the Pokemon that did me the best because of its attack. Uh, Blessing Aroma, 1 Grass Energy, 20 damage to the Pokemon. If heads of any Pokemon is now paralyzed and poisoned, if tails they are now confused. This is very useful because both, if you, no matter what you do, your Pokemon, or the phone is going to be um, limited because confusion uh, is very good uh, to confuse Pokemon. Uh, confusion is definitely one of the best stats. And then Paralyze makes them invulnerable for a turn, or in, immobile for a turn, and Poison. Uh, it's 10 damage, so it can easily eat away at their health, and second attack cut, very standard. So this little gant really helped me out. Very useful. Uh, two Petilil. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Petilil. Kind of strange name. These ones were okay. These, the paralyzing attack did pretty good. Stun Spore. And I had one Adino. Uh, this was actually in a uh, base set, or in a black and white. Why do I keep saying base set? But in this set, it's a lot better. A lot of people had decks with this thing in it. Basically, everyone used it. Uh, flip, for one energy, uh, you flip a coin, and for each head, or you flip a coin for each energy attached to it, and for each head, it does 40 damage. This is very useful because, uh, you know, just it attaches two energy, flip two coins, 80 damage. Very powerful, especially for one energy. And then second attack is kind of lame. So I'll make a Dio, a Dino uh, was pretty cool. And, and uh, something funny is some, someone I fought there had a deck with two of these. Um, two, or a Simipore, no, yes, a Simipore and a Pan, no, a Panpore and a Pan Seer in the deck, one of those each, uh, I think he had Recycle, Pokemon Catcher, uh, what's it called, Chirin, and he, the, and he filled the rest with energy, it was ridiculous and it didn't do very good, he said he lost every single match, I think. It was pretty silly, fighting that deck. Uh, one Great Ball, two Chiron, uh, very good cards. And by the way, Great Ball is now what Master Ball used to be, and Master Ball is now what Great Ball is. Um, and then one Max Potion. I was very glad I got this, because it goes well in this deck I'm making. It's the one in here. And I also had a Tornadus in this deck, a Ultra Hollow Tornadus, but I actually traded that for three cards. And... Uh, I'll show those in a sec. And I also put uh, 10 steel energy and 9 grass energy. I put that in because uh, Clint Klein needs 2 steel energy. Uh, Liganth only needs 1. And uh, Whimsicott only needed 1. So that's why I only put that's why I put more steel in. Uh, but it probably would have been wiser to put more grass in. Just because there were a lot more Pokemon that were grass. Okay, so, uh, also, by the way, I'm also going to be opening those two packs, uh, live here, so that's why they're still closed. Uh, I traded the, uh, Tornadus for a Max Potion, uh, Sigilf, Sigilf, I think that's what it's called, and a, another Cottony. Um, that's kind of an unfair trade, but I really need the Max Potion. And now I guess I'll show you all the other cards I got, um, that didn't go on my deck. Um, first there's, for... Ferrothorn, Ferrothorn, got one of that. I got two, I got another Ferrothorn. Uh, rare, got a Zorark. It's not as good as the last one. Pansir, Basculant, another Basculant, Bianca. This is actually the only other trainer I got in and put in my deck just because I thought it wasn't very useful. Cubchoo, Panpore, another Cubchoo. Gathita, Throw. Sandile, Gotharita, Perleon, I just want to smack her in the face, she looks so much a jerk. Another Ferrothorn, uh, Bulldor, another Basculant, 
Vertalis and Cena. Min Cena. Swad Loon. I'll show you the packs. Sue Adel. Pat Rat. Darumaka. Galvantula. Joltik. Reverse Hollow Crocodile. Pan Sage. Another Pan Sage. Furrow Seed. Cub Chew. Deerling. Simi Pore. Reverse Hollow Sauce Buck. Pan Sage. Another Whimsicott. This is actually a different Whimsicott than the last one. I didn't put it in because I didn't think it was very great. And ironically, this one's rare and the other one's uncommon. Uh, Suede Loon. Guthita. And a Tranquil. So those are all the cards I got on uh, the packs that I didn't use. I got so many of these things, but I didn't get enough basics. Which I would have I would have put them in the deck if I got more basics. It would have been very useful. So yeah, I guess now it's time to open the packs. Uh, I'm going to open the Darumaka first. So I hope, uh, hope I get some good cards in these. But you cannot use these two extra cards in your deck. Uh, these two extra packs, I mean. Code card. Not going to give you any codes, so don't ask. And this time they're all at the end. Last time they were like in the middle for some reason, but now they're at, at the end. Uh, Woobat. Pat Rat. Suwaddle. Joltik. Pan Sage. Siglyph. Clang. Nice. Yes! Another Max Potion! Verse Hollow is Zorark. Or no, that's Zora. And Rare. Ah, oh, Baratek. Dang it. Why'd I get the bad Baratek? I want the good one. Okay. My first Rare was the bad Baratek. Ugh, oh, stupid Baratek. I hate that thing. Why can't I get a bad Baratek? Or a really good Baratek. Now let's open Tornadus. Starting off with Wubat again. It's kind of weird. Funny, the, the person next to me when I was opening my packs, we both got a uh, Rough It, I think, is our first card. Alright. So, Wubat, as you just saw. Another Pat Rat. Another Sea Waddle. Another Joltik. Another Pan Sage. Okay, something new. Crocodile. Or no, cro Croc Rock. I mean. Pokemon Catcher! Yeah! If you don't know what that does, it's basically Gust of Wind. Very powerful. Definitely want that card. Another Clang? Really? I'm mad now. Now I have four. I don't know I have four, but I guess that's okay. Uh, first Hollow and Tracheon. Cool. It is a legendary, but it's not very good. So yeah, those are uh, cards. I got some pretty good cards in the new packs, in these two packs. I uh, I'm kind of, kind of sad that I traded now, because I got my uh, max potions, and the other two are kind of useless. Curse you. But I did get a Pokemon Catcher, which is awesome. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I got some really awesome cards. I got a good, great deck. Uh, I actually got a perfect in my run. I got one off for the games. So yeah, I'll be doing this uh, for every pre-release party I go to, and uh, yeah, uh, probably the next Pokemon thing you'll see is uh, when my deck is complete, this deck in here. Once that's complete, I'll show it to you, and I may do some uh, card openings in the future, but I'll see you guys next time for more pre-release stuff. I love this pre-release thing, I don't want to go to the more, I just want to go one right now. And besides, I, I also I haven't been to a Pokemon League in like months, so or not months, but weeks, probably a month. So I can't wait to go to uh, another one, and I can't wait to go back to Pokemon League later.